Ricky, why didn't you talk about how you never lied? You didn't lie to any of these people that was evicted. You told them straight up what was going to happen. And you put bugs in people's ears on what they should have did. You conv you had Natalie and Lolo's trust so much that they went out of their way to turn on their their alliance of four just to keep yo your one person safe. Talk about how you strategically picked a room full of girls and two athletes so that you can be in alliance with them. Talk about how you played chess with Candy to try to gain some of her trust. Talk about some of this stuff that you did. Talk about how you targeted all the guys in the beginning. Ricky, you did, you played an amazing game, but you did not mention any key points of what you did. Now, granted, I don't know if it would have helped anyway, because this jury seemed real bitter. They seemed bitter. This was a bitter jury, I'll tell you. Welcome back, Team Fever and Big Brother friends, back again with another Celebrity Big Brother Season 2 video for the season finale. Yeah, the Celebrity Big Brother finale was actually pretty good. Wow. Tamar Braxton. Tamar Braxton. She's the first black Big Brother winner. She's the second ever celebrity Big Brother winner. Tamar Braxton. I did not see this coming. I didn't see this coming. When this when this show first started, I did not see this coming. Did I predict that? I don't know. When I was going through all the cast members, did I say I could see her winning or I could see her losing? I don't know. Look at this flashback and tell me. Ryan Lochte. No. Tamar. No. Tom Green, I can see him winning. Alright, well y'all just saw what I said. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but I do want to say that I put this out. I, I, this review is not going to be of the whole episode. Um, actually, I can just run through everything right quick. So the HOH, it was the the, I don't know how to well, how to explain that, but you know it's a puzzle. You got like 20 seconds to put it together. You swing back and it demagnetizes if you don't swing back and hit the button and all that stuff. Dina was eliminated really quick because she didn't understand how the game worked. Candy almost was up there tied for first, but she ended up letting her stuff drop. It was on Tamar and Ricky. Ricky won. I don't see why Tamar was even trying. She shouldn't have been trying. But I guess you can never be too sure, never be too safe. And she was in the final five, so. Probably did want to win that. But Ricky ended up winning. He put up Lolo and Candy. It was a veto competition. It was very, I don't know, the, the laser thing. I guess it was geared towards, I want to say it was geared toward Lolo because she's the most athletic girl. Ricky is athletic, but he's like bigger. And Lolo ended up winning. She kept nominees the same. To me, it was a mistake. Lolo should have did, if I'm Lolo, take Dina down. Dina's closer to Candy. Candy suck at competitions, Dina suck at competitions, Ricky would have took you, me being Lolo, and you and Dina, since Dina's close to Candy, you tell Dina, vote out Tamar. Lolo and Dina, only two had to vote out Tamar. Ricky didn't even have a chance to vote. That's what she should have did, but hindsight's 2020. You never know. But this was good. Actually, I keep saying that this show was good. One spot was good, and that's the next thing. So we go to the HOH, Ricky wins. <laughs> Dina was so far behind. Like It was crazy on that last question when she was like, didn't know what to put up. And Julie was actually waiting on it. Like, you realize Dina, she can't win. So it don't really matter what she put up. But Ricky ended up winning. The tiebreaker question was between him and Tamar. I feel like a lot of competitions come down to Ricky and Tamar. It was like in hours, how long from the first celebrity news till it was over. Tamar put 15. And when I saw her put that up, I just thought she was stupid. Like, maybe math stupid. Like, I actually put it on Twitter. Like, is she stupid? 15 hours, that's not even a full day. You thought, like, what is wrong with you? But Evil Dick, the winner of Big Brother Season 8, I believe, he put on Twitter that he thinks that she wrote down the answer in days and forgot to multiply by 24 to get her actual number, which was really close to the actual number that was the answer. But Ricky ended up being closer surprisingly well not surprisingly because Tamar's number was so low but anyway he ended up uh, this was the good part of who he was gonna take to the finals by the way when he sent Candy home did I even talk about Candy leaving? Candy ended up leaving Tamar voted to evict Dina Lolo voted to evict Tam or Candy Ricky just got up there and was like I voted to evict you Candy and flat out just sent her home um, or sent her to jury um, she was very emotional. I really like her speech. Dina's speech was so weird and just lengthy. But anyway, Candy's interview with Julie was, it was so nice because Candy kept 
like trying to hold back these tears and you can just tell how genuine and how good of a person she really was and I really wish she would have made it to the final four but she would have lost either way it's fine actually looking back on it Julie said do you think he made a mistake and Candy's like yes because I'm a person of my word I've been saying this since day one if he would have taken me and I would have won that final I would have took him to the finals but the thing is looking back on it again Ricky made it to the finals itself and he got to pick whoever he wanted so it didn't really matter final HOH Ricky won I just talked about that and this was where it got good he voted to evict Dina which was fine and then he voted to evict Lolo what what I put out a tweet I put out this tweet which y'all can see right here I said that if Ricky if anybody sat next to Lolo, they were gonna lose. Because to me, for some reason, the cast just loved Lolo so much. Like, people were scared to touch her, people were scared to do anything to her. She would have won to me in a unanimous vote. If you look at my tweet in detail, I said that Ricky would lose to Tamar, which he did. Looking at my tweet, the only way Ricky would have won is if he would have brought Dina. But then, even looking back on that, let me just get into this on why I did not, was I, why I was not a fan of the live part of this show. These celebrities, it seemed like they did not talk about Big Brother. None of, even when Julie asked a specific question about Big Brother, they never talked about the game. They talked about personal stuff, uh, how good of a person they are, how they made friends. And yes, that's all nice, that's all good, but like, I just, as a Big Brother fan, it was frustrating. Especially when Ricky and Tamar gave their speeches and they didn't talk about no game moves that they made. Um, I think Tom, when he voted, he said, I'm just gonna vote for who made me laugh the most. Candy said, I'm glad one of us made it, but I guess that was more, that was more cool because, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, it was just, I don't know. I just, uh, Tom, when the other people came out, Tom was like, I think I predicted this. You know, Ricky would make it to the finals. He won everything. Ricky did not mention anything in his final talks. Like, why didn't you just talk about how I won the very first veto only because I was afraid on who would go up? I stopped winning for a long time so I wouldn't appear as a threat. I aligned with the two strongest females inside the house to take out. I made them turn on their own alliance. What? I started winning when it mattered. I won the final three competitions. Where was the game talk? And not even with him, Tamar. I saved Candy. I was the I was the deciding vote. I was involved in a lot of drama in the beginning of the show. And then I won this power and I laid back and I let two sides go at it. And I just I, I became not a target at all. Where did where did this come from? I mean where did this I won when it mattered. Tamar won when it mattered, for real. But like I just wish they talked about game. Like none of them like, like Joe, what's his name? Joey, Joey Lawrence. We get it. Ryan's a good person. Whoop de doo. Like, do I seem mad? I'm not bad. It's just I just <laughs> maybe I'm taking this too seriously, y'all. But I don't know. I just wish that they talked more about game. I also don't like the question that Natalie, even Marie, asked. Like, what are y'all regrets from the game? Like. They're in the final two. Why would they have any regrets? I don't remember last season. I know that they were very bitter, but. Like, Lolo even said, like, Ricky, uh, have fun with second place or something like that. So maybe Tamar was smart for not winning. If Tamar would have actually won that final HOH, who do y'all think he, she would have took? Because she promised Lolo and she promised Ricky. Honestly, y'all, I do feel bad for Ricky because even though, because it was a unanimous vote. And, like, he got no votes. And I feel like Ricky, like, including myself, a lot of people didn't like him in the house. I mean, I wasn't in the house, but, like, fans watching and the house guests didn't like him a lot. The people that did like him, honestly, because I don't even know if Tamar is being real. Natalie and Lolo honestly liked him, liked Ricky. And I feel like he might have, like, they might have soured on him, and I feel bad. I really do. Because, I honestly, 
I do think he a good person. And what really made me say that I feel bad is when he hugged his wife after he lost. When he hugged her and his his family got on stage, like his son and the baby, like I, I felt like they just watched this and all these people disliked their dad and they her husband for no reason. He didn't really do nothing. And then also when it was a unanimous vote, like Tamar didn't play that much of a, like Ricky just won like three competitions in a row. Am I making that up? He didn't win three competitions in a row, did he? No, actually, because Lola won the veto. I don't know, like, I, I, this happened every year with me. Like, I wasn't a fan of Tyler, and then on the finale video, I was sitting here saying how I felt bad for him. Like, why didn't I like him? Like, Ricky, why didn't I like him? I feel like I know why I didn't like Ricky, though, because he did play this little character where he was acting like he was calm and all this stuff, but he wasn't really, like, a healer and all this stuff. Like, if you watch the feeds, he stirred up a lot of drama. A lot of drama. And they showed it on the show a little bit. But he also had, like, big arguments with Tom, Kato, Tamar, Candy, Lolo. Was I surprised that Tamar won unanimously? No, because nobody liked Ricky. And I feel bad because he turned on... He turned on all the guys. Like, he, he went back on Ryan. He had a big fight with Joey also. If I can pick one person to play this game again from this season, it'll probably be Jonathan because out of everybody, he was the one that actually did mention Big Brother. I mean, he didn't mention much from it, but he at least talked about how I don't know how I was such a big threat. Like, everybody else, all they did was, like, talk about how good of a person Ryan is and just keep stroking Ryan's ego. Like, okay, we get it. Whoop de doo the cast loves Ryan. I don't know if y'all know this, but he's an Olympic gold medalist. Lolo keeps on coming in second. Like, some of the stuff was, it was it was weird. I don't know if I liked this or I didn't like this, because I have mixed emotions of this finale. And Tamar is like the first, she's the first winner of Big Brother to receive a unanimous vote since Dan Giesling in season 10. I, only person I could have saw that would have voted for Tamar was Kato. I put that tweet out too. Like, the only person I can see that would probably vote for Ricky is Kato. Because Kato, but then Ricky had a fight with, but Tamar had a fight. Who got in the most fights out of all this cast? Now that I think about it. Was it Lolo? Was it Tamar? Ricky? It was one of those three for sure. Lolo, Tamar, Ricky. Yeah, this, this finale was... It was it was weird. It was weird, guys. I don't know. And then America's favorite house guest went to Tom. Um, I thought it was nice when Tamar's family came on stage and they hugged Candy and her son. Like it was, it was nice. Her son looked just like Vince. Like it's crazy. Like I said, feel bad for Ricky, but you know he should have taken he should have taken Dina. Dina, he would he even have won? This jury seems so bitter. Like I don't know. This was a good cast, but just, I wish, I really wish, like, is there celebrities that actually watch Big Brother that can be on this show? Because on finale night, I would like them to actually talk about what happened inside the house. I didn't even mention Mooch. Don't really care. Glad Tamar won. Wish she would have put up a better argument when she was explaining why she should have won. She really just talked about, I lost my house, my job, my, my baby need diapers. Like, I don't know. That was a joke, by the way. Anyway, anyway thank y'all for watching this video and for all and for all y'all that stayed on this journey with me through this Celebrity Big Brother 2 video or reviews. Um, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video on all forms of social media, and I'll catch y'all later.